Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Better Half. Um, I don't have anything to say. I took a lunch break. Now we're going to play more. And watch as I unravel and cry. <laughs> That's how the night went. Legend says that if the first face you see in the morning belongs to Lua, your day's gonna suck. This legend or originates from Vivian's shop, the very shop Lua is currently entering. Hello. Nothing? Let me try again. Lua exits and re-enters the store. Behold, I've come to grace your humble shop with my amazing presence. Go away. And I missed you too, Vivian. I can't believe you turned Tal away the other day. Weren't we, weren't you best friends or something? Go away. Go away, go away. Is that all you have to say? Go away. Go away. What else? Fine, what do you want? Must I always want something to visit you? I don't know, must you? Yes, I want to talk. Fine, say what you have to say and then leave. Vivian, sometimes this attitude, I swear. Well? Well, seeing as you're not one for pleasantries, I'll cut to the chase. I resumed working on our project. Why? And it is going well. So well, in fact, that I've chosen to put aside our petty squabbles. Petty squabbles? Is that how you see it? Please, can we not start about that again? I can't believe you. What happened to... You're awfully talkative for someone supposedly giving me the silent treatment. Just get out of my store. No, no. I'm sorry. Honestly. I didn't mean to call it a petty squabble. I meant... Hmm, well, I guess I meant to call it whatever you want me to call it. Just leave. Vivian, I'm giving you a very generous offer right now. I suggest you don't waste my kindness. I also, I also consider me keeping quiet about your business really generous, so I suggest you stop bothering me. And I consider your silence a given, considering how deeply involved you were in my business. I'm not going to start this pissing match with you. And I'm not interested in working with you again. So thank you for the offer, but keep the credit. I'll let you think about it. No need. Please leave. I'll let you anyway. Goodbye for now. I really wish you'd drop by sometimes. And you misspelled incantations on your window ad. There's no S in the middle. Ugh, just go. I was trying to think where you could accidentally put the S in incantations. Don't know. Feeling like the smug bastard he is, Lua exits the shop. Meanwhile, Theo is musing about his depression. I think loneliness and lack of future are the main causes of my misery. But obviously I'm going to be lonely with such a shit personality and no social skills. Maybe if dad hadn't kicked my ass every time I opened my mouth, I would have learned to hold a conversation. And then there's also my awful diet and lack of exercise. If I could get some of this crap under control, we could merge back and I could take it from there. Lewis said our life force got split too. So if we stay like this, I'll die in my 40s. And that's a generous estimate given my lifestyle so far. He watches his other self play video games. I don't think other me has it in him to fix anything though. If I leave him to his own devices, I can go live a nice short life somewhere. <sighs> hey me. Huh? Yeah? What you playing? You have eyes, don't you? I'm trying to make conversations, stupid. Ugh, okay. But weren't we stuck in that one? Yeah, that's why I'm grinding levels. I'm almost at 75. Stop wasting my life, stupid! <laughs> um, hey, can you pause it for a bit? Let's chat. Go ahead, I'm listening. Theo is too busy crafting equipment to lift his gaze from the screen. Okay. Forget this. Just letting you know, I'm going over to Lua's again. Sorry, I was trying to fix my mouse. Now the game gets paused. Uh, again? Why? Like I said yesterday, I'm... How long do you have to do the poison thing? Yeah, fucking talk over me, why not? Me? I don't know, it's up to Lua. Lua, 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 I'm getting sick of the name. Yeah, I'm getting sick of a lot of things too. Huh? Ah, uh, 
Sorry, that came out wrong. Poison. That's what I meant. I'm getting sick off poison. Haha. <laughs> but um. Oh, right. Well, um. I don't know what to say. Me neither. Now go back to your video game. Don't slit your wrists, and I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> you were so surprised. Uh, yeah. Bye. I like that genuine smile on our little sad boy. That was, he was smiling, right? As Theo ponders on that, he spots Lua. Oh, it's weird seeing you out and about. We're not all homebodies like you. Well, I was just about to come over. Pretty shitty of you to keep dropping by unannounced. I thought we were working on something though. But if it was one time thing, hey, no complaints. Don't be ridiculous. Not all poisons kill you. Not all poison kills you immediately. I should give you at least a week to see if you drop dead or not. And your existence con and should your existence continue? Gotcha. Then I want to try another batch on you. Oh, okay. So, see you in a week then. I thought you're coming over. Oh my God! Make up your mind. Well, I'll pass. You seem busy. Like, I'll let you jerk me around like this. You said you're coming over, so over you'll come. The why'd you even ask? Are you having a bad day or something? Whatever gave you that impression? I don't think I did anything to warrant this kind of treatment. Pray tell, what kind of treatment do you think you deserve exactly? Ah, uh, well. Sheesh, she said no, huh? Yes, as a matter of fact, she did. But that's got nothing to do with anything. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Just throwing a hissy fit for fun. Yes, it's delightful. Now piss off, the both of you. What? <laughs> you made me walk all the way over here for nothing? Tough, isn't it? He's so annoying. <laughs> what a sourpuss, right? We crawled up his ass. Ah, it's just Vivian. Don't worry about it. Who's Vivian? Uh, okay. Anyway. You seem to be doing fine. How's life after- How's life like after being split in half? Let's just say it has its challenges. <laughs> I bet. If I got split in half, I'd probably become an assassin. Because I could make myself seen while the other does the killing. So I'd have the perfect alibi every time. I guess that's smart. <laughs> right, right, of course. Why not just do that then? Are you kidding me? That would cost me half my life. Only an idiot would make that trade. Anyway, guess what? I spent the last few days washing a wall. Turns out permanent marker doesn't come off that easily. Who would have thought? <laughs> okay, she's kind of a dingus. You're talking about when we drew on the wall together? Wait, I drew with you? Yeah, right after I got split. We tried drawing cats with our eyes closed. That was you? Yeah. Weird, I could have sworn I was drawing with the happy half. I am the happy half. Ah, okay, sorry. It's just you look so alike. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind me, and don't mind Lua either. He'll brood for a bit, then he'll act like none of this ever happened. So don't worry about it, you can go home or something. All right, I'll see you around then. Yep, see you later. Do I look that down? That's bad. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's just that I'm still kind of weak from yesterday, that's all. For now, let's just focus on making the other me a little less miserable. Food. We'll cheer up with some food. Now, what should I get for me and myself? Um... Ooh, this is a tough one. Other Theo really, really like sweets and treats. But something healthy is also good for you. I want to go with something healthy, but I also want to get the good end. I'm going to save. I'm going to go with something healthy. Yeah, I'll get something healthy. My mouse. Then other me too will get some energy to, I don't know, do something. If you just work with me, I'm sure we could improve our life. 
Well, at least they got each other now. And so, Theo goes to do some shopping. But how is our little bundle of sorrows doing? As one might guess, he has spent the entire day with the video game. But try as he might, he can't clear a secret boss. And he must clear it, otherwise he can't 100% the game. And that would mean his whole life has been for nothing. Ugh, who balanced this piece of crap? I can't stand this battle music anymore. Do day do do dee dee. Annoying. I'd rather drink poison than play another minute. Yeah, drink poison, just like the other meat. He was mad at me this morning, wasn't he? Why is that? I don't get it, and how's that possible? It's literally me. I should know all about him. Uh, wait. Is it because I didn't help him clean? Is it still about that? I didn't take myself for such a petty person. It's not even that big of a mess in here. It's a huge fucking mess in there, my bud. If I just picked up the dirty clothes, it'd already be so much cleaner. Then do it. Nah, what's the point? It doesn't matter anyway. It matters to the other me. So what? Let him pick him up then. But he'd probably be happy if I did it. But probably not because the house would still be a mess. So whether I pick up the clothes or not doesn't matter either way. Ugh! If it doesn't matter either way, then do it. There's no reason to not do it. Can't do this much, you absolute waste of space. Just get off your lazy ass and do it. See that hoodie? Pick that up. Pick up. <laughs> it's so funny. I'll also talk shit to myself about like stuff I gotta do around the house. Like I gotta do the dishes. Uh, and I was gonna tell my husband, cause obviously I live with somebody. So I have the same feelings of like, this other person would be happy if I did this chore. Um, I was gonna tell him that I'm planning on doing the dishes after I finish my recordings for the day. But that's like a curse. I shouldn't ever, ever tell anybody what I plan on doing. Cause I end up not doing it. And then I feel like even so much more of a disappointment. So I'll just keep it to myself and hopefully do the dishes. I'll keep you updated on my entire, <laughs> follow me on Twitter to find out whether or not I did the dishes. Next episode on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Pick up only the hoodie and take it to the laundry basket. We can consider that a win. Well, that's just stupid. Why would I only pick up one of them? That'll really impress the other me. Just really bloody highlight what an absolute piece of shit. Ugh, stop, 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 stop. Just pick up the damn laundry. Do it. Do it now, you piece of shit. Do it. After a bit more of bullying himself into it, Theo picks up all the dirty laundry. Good for him. He got there. He, he shouldn't really degrade yourself like that just to get some chores done but he got there and that's 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 nice he unlovingly shoves them all into the washing machine it takes but a minute but he feels like he has completed a her her herculean task fuck my mouth did not want to form that word haha -ha, look at that am i an adult or what Oh lord, what kind of a loser feels proud over laundry? No, feel proud, baby boy. This is what you're supposed to do, fucking dumbass. There's no winning against these powers of self-loathing. I'm home. Uh, mm, well, welcome home. There you are, I brought food. The washing machine makes an unholy amount of noise as it spins. Oh, you're doing laundry? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh man, I really want to make a snide remark about hell freezing over or something, but I bet he'll say something snarky about hell freezing over and I'll feel like a moron for doing any of this. I'm surprised the washing machine still works, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Cute! I mean, I guess it's pretty old. Didn't I buy it used too? Yeah, I did from the previous tenant. Oh, I guess it was more like he left it here and I demanded I pay for it. Oh, he left it here and then demanded I pay for it. Not I demanded I pay for it. What the fuck? Can't believe I paid for it. I can't. That dude was scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone is scary to you. Anyway, thanks for doing the laundry. The house looks much nicer already. Oh, uh, huh? Y yeah, no problem. Yeah, I appreciate it. Ah, and guess what you're going to appreciate? Uh, food that I've lovingly picked up just for you. <laughs> I wanted to say just for me, but I bet you'd misunderstand. Uh, what? 
Yeah, exactly. Theo is proud to present himself a takeout box filled with grilled fish and some salad. Ooh, that sounds pretty good, actually. What is this, Philp? A healthy meal full of nutrients. I'm not hungry. Yes, you are. I went out of my way to buy this for you. Why? To bully me? You know, goddamn well I can't stand fish or vegetables. I'm taking care of myself. I burp, sorry. Isn't that precisely what you want? But can't you be more like, I, you poor thing, take it easy. Here's candy and games and my unconditional love and support. Sure, if you were an infant. Aw, come on. I'll bake you a pizza if you give the fish and salad a try. That, that's incredibly fair. Begrudgingly, Theo takes the meal. I can't even bake. Psh, whatever. The internet will tell me how. Let's see, what do I need for it anyway? Theo rubbishes through the kitchen cabinets. How old is this flower? Well, there's bugs in it. Been there, done that. But to be fair, I was storing it on the floor like a moron. Near the cat food. Other Theo munches on some fish and watches his other self Google pizza dough instructions. Also, it was a 10 pound bag of flour that I bought because I bake for my friends all the time. But then I wasn't able to see my friends for months. So I didn't have use for a 10 pound bag of flour. Uh, yes, I do need excuses to make me feel better. Okay, other Theo munches on some fish and watches his other self Google pizza dough instructions. Wait, I need a bowl? I think a pot will do instead? And a dough scraper? What the heck is that? I mean, we have a spatula. Look at this moron. What are you even doing? Actually, you know what? I should leave this baking stuff to the professionals. I'm just gonna order. No, make it. Huh? Really? There's like worms in the flour. I'm already eating fish. Might as well eat worms too. How's the fish, by the way? It's okay, I guess. Ha! Huh, good. It's good for you. Yeah, you're eating the rest. Nah, that's okay. I really think I'm gonna order that pizza. No, you're eating the damn fish. No, nah, no, nah, I'm okay. You can throw the rest away. You eat what you're given! Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> that's right. You'll either eat it or you'll cry and eat it. The fuck? No, don't whoop my ass, dad. Oh no. I'm glad we could bond over this, but this hurts me in my heart. Eat the fish or I'll kill your parakeet. Don't bring that up. That one still hurts. Really? I thought you wouldn't feel it. Since I got all the bad stuff. That one is more like... Hmm. I remember it and the pain reignites. Like, fuck man. How could he do that? I bought it and I'll kill it if I want to. Ugh, give me the fish. I'll eat it. I finished it already. Oh, well, thank you. And I'm still expecting that homemade pizza. Okay, but I'm not using the flour we have. Want to drop by at the store together? I guess. We could buy more fish. Don't some people put tuna on pizza? Gross, we're not doing that. <laughs> pizza is made that night and it sucks. The Theos are proud of it anyway. The next day, other Theo is surprised to wake up with the other half still in the house. You're not gonna go to jerk faces today? Yeah, not today. He said he wants to wait a week before he knows if my organs fail or something. All right, finally. Hmm? We can finally hang out. We've been hanging out every evening though. No, 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 like, I don't know, go somewhere together. Like people do when they have friends. Ah, okay. I'm just surprised you're willing to exit the house again. This is like two days in a row, I'm, su I'm impressed. I, I go out sometimes. Like when I go to the store and Go to another store. I go to the grocery stores, the pharmacy, even the gas station sometimes if everything else is closed. See, I go to all kinds of places. Pretty wild. <laughs> Screw you, I went to Vivian's shop too. Huh? We chatted and had tea and everything. So it was almost like a date even. Okay, hold up. Who's Vivian? Huh? She's the other mage, the one with the legal store. Ah, Miss Mage. When did you go see her? I'm shocked. When I got locked out of the house? Haha. -ha. Okay, that makes more sense. Come to think of it, she said she was interested in this spell. Why'd you have to go and tell her about it? I... 
Well, Jesus, sorry? I take that you don't want to go visit her. I take that as you do. Maybe? I mean, I want to show you off. <laughs> what? I have two selves. Maybe she'll think we're cool. <laughs> Aw, you cute. No way she'd think that. She, she might. She might. She's a mage. All right, then. Let's see. We'll see. And so they went to see. Oh, look. The clothing is actually picked up. Around in the background, they, there's a there's a hoodie on the stool. That's cool. Attention to detail. I love that. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So smooth, so cool. Sh shut up. I'm anxious enough already. Well, it's certainly interesting to see the both of you at once. Yes, yes, that's right. This is my other half, and he is cool. Sure. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel so cool right now. <laughs> mm, what's up, me? Did you freeze? That's not cool. No, no, no. It's cool as ice. Now, can I get you popsicles or... S can I get you popsicles something specific? Or are you just browsing? You don't happen to have anything that stops vomiting? You'd probably find something more suitable at a pharmacy. Hmm. I'm looking for something more specific. Like, let's say I ate something poisonous. You don't want to suppress that kind of vomit. That's how your body is trying to rid itself of the poison, so just puke. Hmm. Then how about something that makes all the poison come out at, at once? I don't know. Get a gastric lavage? I don't know what that is. Is that, is that when they pump your stomach? That's not a very magical solution. I don't understand why you're looking for magic when science has you covered. I don't know, it seems fitting since it's magic making me ill. Oh? Hey me, can we go now? Not right now, I'm having a good conversation. But I'm getting really anxious. Here are the keys, go home. Ugh, can, can you walk me there, please? Oh, for fuck's sake, what even happened? He was fine a minute ago. Ugh, this is really tough. I've never, I've never been that's not true. I don't, I'm not usually on this side of the, the situation. I'm usually the one that's like, I, we gotta go home, please. Please take me home. Don't make me do it by myself. Um, but just the other night, my friend, I, I, had, I, uh, me and all of my friends are all vaccinated. So we hang out in private spaces. But, um, we were hanging out privately and me and my hubby were leaving because he had work the next day. And uh, my friend, she was feeling really anxious. So she decided to take that opportunity to also leave and go home. Uh, and she lived in the same complex that we were hanging out in. So I offered to drive her to her building because uh, there's a bunch of separate buildings. She said no. And I understand, because, like, when you're really anxious, especially socially anxious, it's really hard to accept help, especially if you feel like you're inconveniencing the other person. Um, but it was late at night, so I said, can I walk you home then? Um, and she obviously didn't really like that option either, because she didn't want to inconvenience me. I get it, I get it. And maybe she wanted to be alone, I don't know. But... I, I, I was like, those are the two options. We really could just drive you, so she accepted that. So, but that was like really hard for me. It was really hard for me. The only times that I can be brave is for when other people are having anxiety, you know? Um, and right now nobody needs me. Like, okay, so a fictional character. These are options for fictional characters. And the only person involved is me. So now I'm like stressing if I'm gonna make the wrong choice for the rest of anyone who's gonna come and watch this video. Like I get it, maybe they could go play the game for themselves. It's free on itch.io, link in the description. But 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's giving me so much anxiety. And sorry I went on that ramble. I hope you don't care. But I also think that it's really important. Staying... Vivian can help Theo. You know? The good, the, the happy Theo. But going home would help the sad Theo. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Let's stay. No, I'm in the middle of something. This won't even take that long. Just count those trinkets or something. Okay. Other Theo goes to count glass charms and cry. Is he okay? No. Where were we? You said it's magic making you sick. Are you cursed or something? Heh, <laughs> maybe. Because of reasons, I drink a magic potion and I've been feeling kind of ill ever since. What potion was it? Well, it's supposed to be a cure for aging, but God knows what it actually was. Um, what? What is it? You're so lucky to be alive. Huh? Why on earth would you do that? Didn't you learn your lesson last time? I'm sorry, what? I told you, I told you the first time you were here, do not get involved with Lua. Huh, how'd you know it was him? How daft are you? Hey, I owed him a favor, okay? What's it to you anyway? You're right, I'm sorry. It's none of my business. Well, well it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just wait it out. I'm not really as sick as yesterday or anything. Then the next time I'll just puke faster. Next time? Uh, because it's a work in progress. I have no words. You're beyond help. Okay then, that was probably everything. That sucks. I, now I feel like I made the wrong choice for everyone because Vivian can't really help him, I guess, or is too frustrated with his situation to be able to help at all. You know, this is a really bad track record for you. Excuse me? I've been here twice and both times I got disappointed. I can't help someone who refuses to listen to my advice. Yeah, yeah, at least Lua gets shit done. Sure, if making things worse counts, then yes, he gets shit done. Screw you. Come on, we're leaving. Ugh, finally. Wait, better than you. Yeah, I said better. <laughs> wow, fuck you. Huh, m me? Here, try this. Vivian hands Theo a bag of weird ground, grounded muss. Uh huh. It's tea I made with a small spell to reduce anxiety. I, for me? Yeah, I thought you would find it useful. Fuck, what I say? Thank you? Just thank you? Or that I'm happy? Uh, 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 cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Try it hot though. This one's free, but if you like it, come buy another batch. Wait, are you selling me drugs? <laughs> no, this is a legal store. It's just enchanted reishi mushrooms. Oh, okay. I'll give them a try. Yep, let me know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, uh, bye. Come again. That was nice. She probably would have helped. Um, sad Theo. Even if we had decided to leave when Sathew wanted to. They really should. <laughs> it would be really a lot more helpful if one or both of them could, could pick another first name. Or like, what's your middle name? Can one of you go by your middle name? <laughs> Theo exits the shop, stumbling over his feet like he stumbled over his words. Fuck. Oh my god, she was being so nice and you couldn't even utter out a thank you. But she hates me now. Though she did say come again. I, w I would say sorry water break, but I wasn't drinking water. Drink an energy drink. <laughs> what did she want? She gave me some tea to try. Huh, okay. Well, good job. What? Good job, you know. Wasn't this like a big thing to you? To go visit someone? Th that's right, it was. Let's go home. You can try that tea. Yeah, let's try some. Nah, you try it. I'm good. Huh? That Vivian's a cunt. <laughs> You're just upset she told you off. Yeah, I am. What about it? 
Theo returns to his nest, and half of him drinks the mushroom tea. And that's a good place to stop. Also, by the way. Yeah. Uh, thank you everybody for coming out and playing with me. I had a ton of fun. I hope you did too. And I hope I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, shoot. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it during the series yet. Maybe the first one. Limited edition merch. It's gone. June 15th. So if you're interested, at least check it out. Maybe pick some up. All kinds of stuff. The link will lead you to the main page, which is a t-shirt. But there's like mugs and stuff. Get stickers. It's cool. It's rad. Let me know what you think of it. I, um, I made it myself. And so I'm nervous about whether or not I like it. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll see you all next time. Bye!